Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, one of your uh, closest allies in the House said uh, yesterday, when you've got 97% of your constituents saying no, it's kind of hard to say yes. Why should members of Congress go against the will of their constituents and support your decision on this? And, and I still haven't heard a direct response to Brianna's question. If Congress fails to authorize this, will you go forward with an attack on Syria? Right, and uh, you're not getting a direct response. <laughs> Brianna asked the question very well. Uh, you know, I, I, but it's a I, pretty did, did, did basic you question. That, uh, uh, you know, I was going to give you a different answer. No. I, the, uh, what, what I've said, and I will repeat, is that uh, uh, I uh, put this before Congress for a reason. Uh, I think we will be more effective and stronger if, in fact, uh, Congress authorizes this action. Uh, I'm not going to engage in parlor games now, Jonathan, about whether or not it's going to pass uh, when I'm talking substantively to Congress about why this is important and talking to the American people about why this is important. Now, uh, with respect to uh, Congress and how they should respond to con uh, constituency concerns, uh, you know, I do consider it part of my job to help make the case and to explain to the American people exactly uh, why I think this is the right thing to do. Uh, and it's conceivable that at the end of the day, I don't persuade uh, a majority of the American people that it's the right thing to do. Uh, and then each member of Congress is going to have to decide if I think it's the right thing to do for the America's national security and the world's national security, then how do I vote? And you know what, that's, uh, that's what you're supposed to do as a member of Congress. Uh, ultimately, you listen to your constituents, but you've also got to make uh, some decisions uh, about what you believe uh, is right for America. Uh, and that's the same uh, for me as President of the United States. There are a whole bunch of decisions that I make that are unpopular, as you well know. Um, but I do so because I think they're the right thing to do. Uh, and I trust my constituents want me to offer my best judgment. That's why they elected me. That's why they re-elected me, even after there were some decisions I made that they disagreed with. Uh, and I would hope that members of Congress uh, uh, would end up feeling the same way. Uh, last point I would make, uh, you know, these kinds of interventions, these kinds of actions, are always unpopular because they seem distant and removed. Uh, and I want to make sure I'm being clear. I'm not, I'm not drawing uh, an analogy to World War II, other than to say you know, uh, when London was getting bombed, it was profoundly unpopular, both in Congress and around the country, to help the British. Uh, doesn't mean it wasn't the right thing to do. Just means people, you know, are, are, are struggling with jobs and bills to pay, and uh, they don't want their sons or daughters put in harm's way. And these entanglements far away uh, are dangerous and different. Uh, I, you know, to bring the uh, analogy closer to home. Uh, you know, the intervention in Kosovo, very unpopular. But ultimately, I think it was the right thing to do. And the international community uh, should be glad that uh, it came together to do it. Um, when people say that it is a, it is a, a terrible uh, stain on all of us that hundreds of thousands of people were slaughtered in Rwanda, well, imagine if Rwanda was going on right now. And we asked, uh, should we intervene in Rwanda? Uh, I think it's fair to say that it probably wouldn't poll real well. So, uh, you know, typically when uh, any kind of military action is popular, it's because either there's been a very clear direct threat to us, 9-11. Or um, an administration 
uh, uses various hooks to suggest that uh, American interests were directly threatened, like in Panama or Grenada. Uh, and um, sometimes those hooks are more persuasive than others, but typically they're not put before Congress. Um, and again, we just went through something pretty tough uh, with respect to Iraq. Uh, so all that, I guess, provides some context for why you might expect people to be resistant here. But your deputy national security advisor um, said that it is not your intention to attack if Congress doesn't approve it. Is he right? Uh, I don't think that's exactly what he said, but uh, uh, I think I've answered, uh, I've answered the question.